Okay. What I did for mine was the bead has a tendency to flop around all over the place. So I put a little bit of lid behind it. Just a couple of wraps. Just to fill up the gap? Yeah, just to fill up the gap behind the bead. So I put on three to four wraps. Put on three to four wraps just to keep that bead from flopping around. What thread are you using now? I'm sorry? What thread are you using now? I'm, I'm using a uh, red, big fly. Still big fly? Yeah, big fly red. God damn it. Fast. This builds up the body a little bit quicker. It's not like floss, it's thread. So I'll tape I'll taper the area. Cover that red right up. Yeah, I'll, I'll taper the area right behind it fairly quickly, like that. And you can use anything. I'm going to use crystal flash on this one too. You can use the UV dub. You can use just about anything you want. And in this case. I'm going to use the same amount. I'm going to use five strands folded over and then fold it over again. The difference being I'm not going to tie it in and fold it over because it uses it it leaves a, a big knot there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it over again and I'm going to cut it. Okay? And the reason for that is so that I have a, a, set, a pretty much of a blunt end on it, right there like that. And I'll spread it sort of around the top of the hook with a couple of wraps, and then I'll pull it down just to behind bead and what that does is if I were to tie it in and fold it over it would leave a big hump in the back of the hook so I tie I cut it into separate separate pieces and then I'll, I'll wrap it over like this now if I want it very shiny rather than with this thread and I'm building up the body a little bit as I go because I'm going to have to tie in the silver, silver ribbing as well. Thing. And, I, and I tie it on underneath. Taper the body as it's going down, like this. And then keep it tapered as I come back up. And then at this point, I just rib it. And it's simple enough. All it is is a red fly and it works. with a silver ribbon, and it works like a charm. Leave it with that long No. I'll take the uh, take the tail, and again, I make it just about as long as the body. That's it. And I'll whip finish it there, and then coat it with your favorite coating, head cement or. UV cure or uh, epoxy. Anyone will work. Yeah. If, I can tell you that if you if you tie it with just big thread and you don't and you don't put any kind of a coating on there, it will unwrap on you. This stuff does not hold like wax, thin wax thread. Uh, most flies I tie with a thin wax thread. You can usually go without uh, coating it with a uh, head cement. I like to put a little selling in it. Yeah, but... Cheap it works. Lifetime supplies are about 10 bucks.
Now, <clears throat> it's so simple that it looks great. And it's a, it's a very quick and simple fly to tie.